I got sent a picture of a penis <laughs> with with a stiletto going through the tip of the penis, uh, basically saying, I'm going to do this to you. Oh, mate, it's been quite a series, mate. Yeah, can we, can we just do, before we start, can we just cheers to the, is that, clink. I love modern technology. Mate, I need to know, how's isolation going for you, bud? Um, do you know what? Okay, I think like a lot of people are seeing the negatives. I'm seeing a lot of positives. Shoot. Definitely. Like it's a time for reflection. I knew you were going to say it was either introspection or reflection, one of the two. Intra reflection. <laughs> um, no, but it's quite nice. It's like a bit, it's a slower pace of life for a little bit. I think we, I think weirdly with all of this time, we put more pressure on ourselves sometimes because we're like, right, we now like have all of this time. To we learn need, a new skill or do need, something that's, that's yeah. worthwhile. I will become a wizard. Like <laughs> literally you, you, you really like put so much pressure on yourself. And I feel like this is maybe a time to just not do that and just allow ourselves to, to just, just do you know what? Take a back seat, just dial it back a little bit and, and put it in neutral and just cruise for a little bit and recharge. I know what you mean. I want to know about you, man. You've been in a relationship now for what, two years? Uh, two, yeah, two and a, yeah, just over two years. Just over two years, man. First of all, congrats. Second of all, what, why haven't I, what I've never seen on TV. Why is that, mate? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, the main reason she's just, she's just too busy. Like, uh, her lifestyle doesn't really fit. She's traveling all the time. She was not here enough. She was away. So unless she like took a handheld camera, it wouldn't really work. But, uh, things are good. I mean, there's been a real, it's been a real test on lockdown because like, you know, you spend every day together. Um, so have you, have you, have you moved in to get together like properly now? For this we have, um, we've had a few arguments. Uh, argued about whether bread should go in the fridge. That was that was a serious serious moment. Mate, do you know what the best thing is? Me and Zara argued about Monopoly. I'm not joking. It was a tiff level argument. It was up there with with that. Well, mate, do you know why? So, so, <laughs> You'll so, so, love this because I cheated. <laughs> oh my god! I reckon you're terrible to play Monopoly against. If tiff was the best thing to ever happen to you, what does what Zara? She's the, the relationship best. was the best thing to happen to me. Okay. So, because so because it because it, I've got my wand here, by the way, and this is actually Hermione's wand, and and it basically it allowed me to grow. But now Zara is the best. I, I've never been happier. Genuinely, I've I've never been happier. More. When did, you, when did you buy that wand? <laughs> when things got a bit serious and you you'd got yourself into a web of lies. You're like, right, it's only magic. Only yeah, only magic can save me now. <laughs> Channeling my inner Hermione. Right, you will forget her. Yeah. Forget her, Mundo. Yeah. <laughs> the episode which I don't want to say defines you because it definitely doesn't, but the episode which intrigues me the most about you was obviously the one where you got caught out by Binky, right? And, and you and Spencer had had this wild night out and stuff had happened and the girls, you know, Jamie basically just told on you being the good friend that he is. And the girls sort of, the girls sort of went for you, right? How was that when that was televised? What was the backlash from that, if there was any at all? Do you know what? It was, it was a really strange one. Like, um, on social media, it was pretty, it was pretty savage. Like, uh, I got, I got sent one of the, one of the worst things. I got sent a picture of a penis <laughs> with, with a stiletto going through the tip of the penis, uh, basically saying, I'm going to do this to you. Oh, that's so grim. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I still wear a, um, a metal box. <laughs> You've still got a box down there, just well, in case. I've still got my cricket box on there today. I always said you, you live it three times because you film it, right? And you, you're, you're actually going through it. And then you watch it back. So you're watching it back and you're feeling it again. And then you get the social media re repercussions where you're feeling it again. So you go through it like three times, essentially. So by the end, you're exhausted. <laughs> yeah, you're just emotionally <laughs> beaten. Like... I've known you for years, all right? And I feel like if anyone's going to say it's going to be me, okay? You're like a shit stir. <laughs> you, sir, you, you have your pot there. You have a wooden spoon and you just whisk it like hey. that. Basically, what's happening, okay, I'm already like stirring, just shit comes at me. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. People tell me... Why, 
it's out. It's like when you're a kid and you go like, if you get in the way, it's your own fault. That's basically, I'm like, if you tell, if you tell me, it's your own fault. I love that. But somehow you get away with it, I man. Like the, anyone the, else, okay, every, anyone else would get berated for like, for, for sort of telling people behind other people's backs or giving the wrong information or like taking the piss. But you have this way of doing it that oh, I can only respect. I don't know how you do it, right? But every time you just, it's just funny when you do it. When I try and do it, I just look like a prick. I don't, I mean, I don't often, there's no, there's no mal intent. I'm, it's not, I'm not doing it maliciously at all. I just sort of like, it just comes out in conversation. I think it might actually be a problem. I think I have an issue. <laughs> You've changed the most, and actually, I'd say I've changed quite a lot as well. Uh, Jamie well, hasn't changed. Aged. <laughs> Jamie might as well be eighteen still, still making the say. So he's definitely up top. I would probably have you second, and then you know me sort of like fourth. I reckon in terms of like what, who's done what wrong and stuff like that. Yeah, you, you keep that in your head, mate. Honestly, this has been one of my favourite tea with Thompson. We've been through so much together, my friends, and long may it continue. I really, really. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy with your happiness. And yeah, man, you're just, you're, you're one of the good guys, mate. And without sounding too, too sort of lame, I look up to you a lot and I love you to bits. Thank you for coming um, on to you with Thompson, boy. Sammy, that was, uh, that was beautiful. Just please, mate, learn from your mistakes. It's getting, it's getting boring now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> mate, thank you so much for coming, brother. I love you to bits. Cheers, mate. Love ya. See you later, boy. My man. <laughs>